Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back, welcome to Fort Destiny, episode 3 of Song of the Prairie. This is where you go to change your clothes if you don't know. If you found any, which we will do once we find some more. Uh, but yeah, if you find any in treasures or get it as gifts or go make a buy, make it and buy it from the tailor, you can change it there. Little cutie, I'm G.U. from the Moon Bay Restaurant. For all these days since you arrived, you haven't visited the restaurant yet. That makes me feel quite lonely. When you get tired from work, come find me at the Moon Bay Restaurant. I will prepare fresh and delicious food for you. Although I don't enjoy writing to a man, I still need to remind you that you can post fishing commissions at my place. I can go fish for you. Everything I catch will be yours. I only charge the commission fee. <laughs> oh, I think that is so cute. Um, and what we got for fish yesterday were all these... Uh, we're going to make 2100 when he comes to get it tonight, so tomorrow morning. And we had the, we got the three small black bean fish for that one quest. Oh, wait, we'll probably go ahead and ship that, too. It's 2,000 monies. Yeah, so now we're going to make 4160. So let me get the crops watered, and I'll bring you all back. And welcome back. Okay, so what do we need to upgrade our house? Uh, interact. Upgrade the current building. Ah, uh, we gotta get blue wood. Ten blue wood. So we really need to upgrade, I think. Uh, blue wood's over here. It's the trees with blue lines through them. I don't know if our axe is good enough yet. Uh, let's see. Axe. Oh, it is. Nice. I'm gonna leave the tree stumps. I don't want to take those up until we get a shovel. Because you have a chance of getting a tree sapling if you use the shovel on the tree stump. So, as much as we hate tree stumps, we're going to leave that there for right now, just so that we have a higher chance of getting a shovel, because we're going to need blue wood for quite a few things as we progress. Blue wood, hardwood, uh, sky wood, I think, is another one. Crystal wood. That's a lot of different ones. Our tools are crap, so it's going to take a lot of stamina. We only need ten, so I think that's five trees. You should generally get two per tree. Use all the lumber and everything else anyway. Come on. Thank you. It's like they give you just enough to get that upgrade. Which I appreciate. We don't have to go all over the map searching for it. into me inventory okay so let's go B we have 12 now okay so we can go ahead and get that upgrade going not gonna waste any more energy because that's all we needed I know I have a thing but I, I gotta clean this up oh I gotta tell Lori that we did her shipment too we haven't done that yet today and she's probably gone we also need to go turn in those fish oh look a piggy It is getting late in the day, so we may or may not wait until tomorrow morning to do some of that. Clean up all the things. I think you can only do one upgrade or one repair at a time, so we'll do the house first. Oh, no, we'll do the pig stall first because that's only going to take like a day. The house takes like I think three or five days to upgrade. We want to get pets going sooner than later so we can start getting bacon and stuff to cook once we have the cooking stuff. And you get the beginner cooking station in the first house upgrade. We'll get more advanced cooking as we upgrade our house again and again. I never got to the second or third house upgrade. I think it was the third I didn't get to in the streaming world. Looks like there was one thing I was missing. It was sapphires, but once we figured out where to go for sapphires, that's when we weren't streaming it anymore because I was doing the night streams with hubby instead. Well, hubby and friends, but he doesn't stay on the game long either. And once we finish the Seven Days to Die modded server, I don't know what he's going to play next, so I want to enjoy gaming time with him while we have it. 
Okay, let's go right here and let's get this repaired. So we're going to hit F to repair. 45 lumber, 45 stone, 450 monies. Let's get that done. They'll help break to it. We might just go to bed early. Actually, I want to get rid of this. Oh, mod's getting our shipment out. I thought they said he came at 5. Oh, it's 6. Maybe he's here from 5 to 6. No, it's 8. What am I thinking? That's what happens when you stop using military time. You forget what it is. We can't open this up until we... What was it that we have to do? Uh... You have to collect 50 animals to unlock the chain to the King of Beast Taming. And it has an animal food dispenser that can automatically feed animals. But we have to raise 50 animals. That is a lot. Okay. I wonder. Just for science. Oh, I guess we could put some birds in here. Um. Oh, uh, we don't have... Well, we can go by feed in the morning, though. We have the money. Where are you, birdie? Oh, uh, let me... Oh, you're asleep. I can't pick them up when they're sleeping. I forgot. Okay, let's put ourselves to bed since we only have two and a half carrots left. Let's call it a night. You weren't with me much for today, but I was clearing the forest and watering the plants and regening energy. It takes a long time to regen energy. The hot springs is a little bit faster once we open that up, but it's not much. 4160 is what we made yesterday in all those fish we sold. Do we have any mail? Dear customer, I'm Rode, the owner of the Golden Ranch. I'm a businessman with utmost integrity. If you're interested, you are welcome to visit me at the Golden Ranch today so we can get to know each other. And then Becky. Goo Goo, it's Becky, the owner of Becky's Aviary Goo. Welcome to the small town. If you want to raise Goo Goo birds on the farm, you can come to the aviary and find Goo. We can also go to newspaper, and today is going to be sunny. Tomorrow will be warm and sunny day, and we don't have any small town word or world gossip, so, but we can get our weather from there. Okay, let me water again, and I'll bring y'all back. And welcome back. Got our stamina back, so now we can go finish. There's like three crops over here to water, and I think we're going to grab up the bird. Oh, stamina. We really gotta get that higher. Um, where'd it go? There it is. So I believe that one's already repaired. Oops. Uh, let's pet you. Hey, she's happy. And oh, I can't see. Pick you up. Let's run you over here. It's hard when you gotta run them all the way from the Black Hill Forest to your <laughs> Cages, but I'm a sheepskate. What can I say? Why pay for what you can get free in the world? And put you down. And it's a chicken, so the first chicken type animals are always Liana. Okay, we also have some crops that are ready. Let's get these harvested. You can do your, use your sickle, but I think that takes more stamina than just doing them by hand. So when we don't have that many, I'm probably going to do it by hand until we upgrade it. And it's Freya's birthday, so we gotta get her a gift. Let's go ahead and replant these six that we have in our inventory. Let's go five. And four. And then water these guys. It is the fifth day of spring. Okay. Can we go ahead and order this repair? I think this is from Poor, so I think it's different. Upgrade building. So 10 copper ore, 10 blue wood, wood 50 stone, and 150 lumber. Let's hit space bar. And 3,000 monies. Yep. Let's do this. It's going to take three days. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can start cooking with our crops and stuff. And that increased our trade proficiency. So now we need to go to... Gugu Aviary, and we also need to see a few people and turn in some quests. So let's go right here. First, see Lori turn in those quests. Or turn in that one quest. 
Also, her goods in the shop have expanded, so... Um, let's do task. Let's submit the uh, delivery we did. Oh, Mr. AMS, you have fixed the station. Oh, that's the station. Well done. This is my thank you gift for you. Come and visit me often in the future. And... Oh, I guess maybe we already got the thing for delivering her stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, this is a summer or a spring crop. Okay, well, we're going to need like nine of them. And why does that say new? Maybe because they click on it before. We're going to need a ton of white radishes to get the sacrifice done. Let's do some round onions. Main, oh, 20% off. Also because uh, our crops are going to be coming up harvestable soon, so we need stuff to replant. And we're going to go ahead and do more flax, because we're going to need tons of this. I think I might do a little bit more wheat. And let's do more white radishes. Okay, that'll work. Uh, you say the same thing. Let's see, croc. Let's see, we got... 2,900. Oh, cutscene. Hello. Oh, it's you. I bought the medal. Thanks a lot. Is it something important to you? Yes. It was my first medal. I served in the state of freedom and started out as a regular insignificant soldier. I didn't have a strong body or any background or connections, and I was not good at socializing with people, so I was often the target of pranks. Once I was locked in the dressing room for a whole day, the guy said I was too small to be noticed. Is this the right path for me? I've asked myself this question countless times. Until the day when I finally saw the light. On the battlefield against the Dark Army, I was lucky to see the legendary hero. Although it was just from far behind, seeing him was like a beam of light that lit me up inside. It is in order to become a person as illuminating as him that I choose this path different from his. Him? Never mind, it's nothing. Since then, I have worked even harder than before. I actively participate in one battle after another, hoping to get a little closer to the hero. They are the stars, the fire, the light, and the long night. People always involuntarily gather around the hero, like moths chasing a flame. Uh, I feel a little embarrassed. I hope to be a illuminating person, but I can't be a hero. I'm just a deserter. It's good to be yourself. Jin said that too. Forget it. You'd better go. Why are you telling me this? Maybe I see something familiar in you. I shouldn't have told you so much. You may leave. I mean, it's okay. Okay. Let's get our... I'm going to go ahead, since we have a little bit of money, I'm going to assign her to start leveling up this, because we need to open up all these um, areas. Or it can be viewed on the board on the side. And as she gets deeper, or he, as they get deeper, um, we'll get better stuff. And she's got a furniture store you can buy things from, but we're not at that point yet. Like for the mayonnaise maker, we have to uh, ship 200 eggs to open this. Cheese maker, 200 milk. Juicer, we'll get one of those for free. This is a different kind of juicer, actually. No, we'll get the blender for free. Uh, brewing machine, we'll get one of those for free. Or we can ship 200 fruit. The loom is 200 wool. Sausage maker is 200 meat. And yeah, this is what we'll get for free. After we do a wheat demand quest. Hi. Um, let's do urban construction management and to upgrade the blacksmith shop, what is that going to take? Three opals and three star iron. Okay. Just needed to know what we were looking at. Okay, we need to go to the aviary and we need to see Freya because it's Freya's birthday. Uh, let's hit X so we can see the people. We also need to go see Wallace. Uh, Freya's got, I don't think we've met Freya yet, have we? So where are we? We are right here. So there's two. Oh yeah, okay. So up there and then hang a right. We need to see Wallace do and go to the restaurant. Okay. I think that's manageable today. And we need to get bird feed. Bubble cows. Hello. All right, little number 13, it's your turn next. You sound happy. I guess you can't wait to hear my music. Then I will sit... Wait, did I smell something special? There can be no mistake. The smell must be... Hi. As I expected, it's the smell of a distinguished customer. Oh dear, my nose never fails me. Dear customer, you have an extraordinary aura with you. 
No wonder my cow number one produced a bottle of sweet berry milk this morning. This must be heaven inspired act to welcome you, my dear customer. Dear customer, this is a very rare kind of milk, but in order to celebrate our acquaintance, I'm willing to let it go. How about this? For a mere 500 gold, I will sell it to you. Um, introduction. Manners first. Oh, I see. You're the new farmer Hart mentioned. He specifically asked me to take good care of you. How about this? I'm willing to take another concession. I'll sell you this bottle of milk at the price of 4.99 gold. Oh, it's a scam. I don't have to answer that. Just one gold? Oh, dear customer. A gold coin can embarrass a hero. Of course, it's a huge concession. Uh, no thanks. What a pity, dear customer. If you change your mind, you can come back to me at the ranch. Dear customer, every encounter in life is destined. So let's take this opportunity to deepen our understanding of each other. My name is Rowan. I'm an honest businessman. In addition to operating this golden ranch, I sell some special products at the weekend market. If you're interested, you can come and take a look on Saturday and Sunday. I'm willing to give a special price to a special person. Well, thank you, Rowan. And I need to go ahead and go to the ranch store. And I'm going to go ahead and buy some sleepy pig feed because we're going to need it once that is done. We'll get 10 for now. You can also buy animals. All we can buy right now is a sleepy pig because our thingy is some. I think we can find them in the world without having to pay for them. I do think we're going to get a quest to buy one. Hello, Becky. Goo. Goo hasn't met you before. You're new in town, Goo. Goo. Goo? Don't tell Goo that you think the girl under Goo is the one talking, do you, Goo? Let Goo make this clear first. Goo is the actual one speaking. Actual one? Look up! Goo Goo is always flapping wings while talking. Can't you see, Goo? Don't let Goo explain this every time Goo meets a new person, Goo. Something happened to the new girl Goo recruited before. Goo is so tired of this. Uh, are you okay? Goo's name is not Goo. Goo's name is Becky. Goo is the owner of this Goo... Goo Goo Aviary. Goo's so angry, it's like talking to the fool who calls himself the Brave Warrior all over again. No, don't want to be a member of Brave Warrior's Fellowship. It seems she is lost in rage. I'd better leave. Goo, hello, Goo. Uh, you want three wheat. Okay. And then we'll get that thing. Birdhouse store, buy feed. Get ten of those. I'll probably need to get more later, but that's going to be enough for right now. Uh, what else do we got going on? Uh, any houses we can go into and find treasures? Mm, nope, nothing in there. What about up here? Nope, I don't see anything in there. Oh, we need to repair this one. A uh, thousand monies, fifty lumber, and fifty stone material. Let's get that done. Hello, Richard. May I ask if you're happy? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty golden. Okay, we gotta find Freya. We haven't met her yet, so we just need to look around the town, I assume. I think Dew will be over here. Some oh, stamina. Yeah, there's Dew. going to be a constant stamina battle in the beginning. Anything in here? No. Hello. Hello, Your Excellency. AMS is a strong body with a bottle of energy juice. And what does you need? You want one large goo goo bird egg. Okay, we can work on that. Please wait, I have an urgent matter I want Your Excellency to help me with. Since Your Excellency is the one chosen by the sword and the stone, you must know the three laws of victory for the brave warrior, right? They are courage, teamwork, and hard work. So as a brave warrior, I also have a teammate in the small town. She is Miss Becky, the owner of the aviary, although she is always reluctant to admit it because of her shyness. Miss Becky is a very good supporter. I usually go to her aviary to collect bird eggs. But there seems to be a misunderstanding between Miss Becky and me recently. Miss Becky gets very angry whenever she sees me approaching the aviary. Could it be that she got a new curse? Anyway, I'll find a way to solve my problem with Miss Becky, but my bird eggs are running low, so I hope Your Excellency can help me go to the Goo Goo aviary and collect some eggs under the tree there. Okay. Let's go get that knocked out. Since we're right here. Stamina. Oh, stamina. Oh, we gotta go find Freya. I don't want to miss a birthday. I'm gonna miss quite a few of them, but I'd rather try and not miss any. Okay, let's get this turned in. Wait, is Freya the restaurant owner? Why did I go that way? I needed to go this way. 
I feel like seven days trying to get my athletic skill up. There you go, dude. Submit three cherry drinks. This taste. Yes, that's definitely Miss Becky's. These three bottles of cherry drinks are my own brew. They are best sellers in the orchard. In order to express my gratitude, I will give them to your excellency for free. And now I need to think about my training as a brave warrior. Okay, later, Gator. Okay, the restaurant was on the other side, if I remember right. Any treasure chests in here? Nope. These are houses that we'll be building, but later. Like, way later. Has this one been activated? It has. Okay, that's down to Back Hill, which means the restaurant should be... Where are we? Oh, Freya's library. Oh, that's Freya. Yay, we didn't miss her birthday. When the prince kissed those lips as delicate as roses, a miracle happened. Talia, the sleeping princess, finally woke up from her long nightmare. What a beautiful love story. Freya also wants to be woken up by a prince's kiss. And Freya's prince is... Huh, hello? You, you, who are you? Could it be that you just now... Did you hear it? It's too embarrassing. Soon everyone will know that Freya is a strange person who likes to hide in the house and talk to herself. Freya can't face anyone. Well, you talk to yourself in, about yourself in third person, so that's weird anyway. There is no other way, but for Freya's sake, Freya has to copy what happens in books and make you disappear. Freya has read about the ways, ways of hiding bodies in books. Freya has nothing to be afraid of anymore. Freya will now... <laughs> oh, no. She will now pass out. Oops, Freya doesn't seem to have eaten for three days. I can't get up. Let's find something to eat. Yum, 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 chomp, chomp. Thank you, thank you. Freya feels much better. Thank you, thank you for helping Freya. Freya forgets things when reading. Is Freya your name? Yes, Freya is the owner of Freya's library. If you have any books you want to read, just come to Freya. Don't tell others about what happened to Freya, please. And Freya, Freya can lend you my favorite books. Then Freya will go back to reading now. You are a strange character. Let's get an apple. Uh, excuse me to you. Freya, happy birthday. It's a birthday present for Freya. Thank you. Oh, let's put that up and... Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to give you it. Oh, okay, good. She didn't take it. I wasn't trying. Cancel. Get it out of my hand. Ugh. In fairy tales, the princess's birthday will be celebrated if Freya... Uh, I can check out books, but I don't have that kind of money yet, so we're not ready for that. But yay, we got her birthday present. Now we just need to get to the restaurant. See Wallace and Hart. You've been activated, right? Yes, you have. Let's see, we are here restaurant is oh, just down the street. Activate you. Oh, cutscene. The hopsicle. So you invited the girl from the neighboring town all the way here, and all you treated her to eat is a bowl of clear broth noodles. I shared my favorite food with her, which is a proof of our relationship evolving from doctor-patient relationship to friendship. But why was she so upset? If I were her, I wouldn't be able to stand brother stupidity either. You don't understand a girl's heart at all. How can you take a girl to a restaurant and only have clear broth noodles? You should at least add two. No, ten spoons of hot sauce. As long as there are hot peppers, no matter what you eat, it'll be very delicious. I think you need to add more than hot sauce. Wait, someone's coming. It's a face I haven't seen. Could it be the newcomer to the farm? It doesn't matter who it is, brother. Let him tell you how serious a problem it is to invite people to dinner without hot peppers. No matter what, it's unhealthy to eat like this, but I still want to hear your opinion. Um, it's not about the peppers at all. Is this the most important issue? Sure enough, it's not my problem. No one can say no to clear broth noodles. 
Since you're here at the hospital, do you feel any discomfort? I'm the doctor of the town. Usually everyone just calls me Huan. You can trust me for your health care. I'm Huan's younger sister, Liv. I'm also a nurse at the hospital. It's my duty to take care of every patient on behalf of my brother. When you feel sick, make sure to come and see us. Don't wait until you faint and have to be carried here. After all, Liv hates... Hates to see people getting sick. Hi. Is there anything wrong with you? Uh, no. Human health is very fragile. Please make sure to take care of yourself. Will do. Uh, say hi to Abby while we're walking by. Dear assistant, I smell a case. Are you interested? Uh, you want to go chop trees. Oh, we have four. Oh, we have four hundred monies. Wow, we went through some money today. Activate that one. Hello to ya. Time waits for no one. Break time should be used for rest. Okay, here's the restaurant. It's cool we can use her stove that has all the cooking equipment on it. Hi. Little cutie over there, come here, come closer. Don't worry, I'm not some random strange person. <laughs> Look back at her like she did to you. Uh... Huh? <laughs> like Lori said, you are really an interesting one. By the way, my name is Giyu. I'm the boss and she chief chef of Moon Bay. Although Lori has told me you don't mind introducing yourself to me, do you, dear? Okay. Mm -hmm. AMS, what a nice kid. Come, come here, it's a welcome present for you. You seem to be really looking forward to it. It's just grilled fish I made myself. How about it? Do you like it? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> You're such a delightful one. Well, I have something to do now. I'll hang out with you next time we have a chance. If you want to cook, I can let you use the cooking station in my restaurant. <sighs> Goodbye, dear. Later, and thank you for letting me use your cooking station. Come interact with the stove and cook delicious food. You can use recipes over the stove to directly generate food, or you can interact with different cookware. Just add any ingredients you like and start cooking. When you see different ingredients and cookware to cook new dishes, you will unlock new recipes. Unlocked dishes can be directly cooked by using recipes over the stove. Little cutie, I know quite a few fairy tales from the Eastern Continent. Would you like to hear them? Um, oh yeah, you wanted the fish. Yay! Task complete. Look at us getting things done. Oh, there's a shroom over there. Definitely want that, baby. Oh, what do we got in here? Anything? Any treasures? Any awesome goodness? Oh, treasure right here. Guards armor gift box. The dressing mirror is located at your home on the farm. Every time you get a new piece of clothing, you can go to the dressing mirror to view it and change into it. Ooh, so that was new clothing. Well, that was worth popping in for, wasn't it? Okay, we need to go feed the bird. Manufacturing tools. You can make me... Okay, so I have the copper ore to get our um, hammer or our axe leveled up. We just need to get some more money. So I might need to go do some fishing tonight. Now why is that the only thing lit up? Oh, because that's what I was hovered on. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. I want you to smack some rocks. We already said hi to Abby. We said hi to you. Oh, we got Wallace needed us. I think Hart needed us too. That could be sounding all poetic. Hello, Wallace. Today is Bray's birthday. If it's convenient, can you help me say happy birthday to her? She'll be very happy. I actually already did. We have to go visit Lindy. Childhood friends. I wonder if you have time. There's something I want to ask you to do. I want you to visit Lindy, Freya, and Lori. Maybe you already know them, but that doesn't matter. To be honest, the three of them are my childhood playmates. At the same time, they were troublemakers in the town. I hope you can help me find out what's going on with them before they get into any more trouble. Don't worry, all you need to do is go and say hello to them. This is my personal request, but I will pay you nonetheless. I will really appreciate it. You got it. Easy breezy. And we'll probably be going down there anyway. So what, Lindy, Freya, and Lori. Pretty sure Lori's going to be gone for the day. Actually, you know what we should be doing. We been in this place. Any treasures? No. I'm gonna go in the same house like 37 times, but uh, this is the flower area, or the flower shop, I mean. 
Man, won't you at least cut me some slack during the break time? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to you. Are you assuming that I'm here to help? Just kidding. I have to talk to you during business hours? Well, we could do. Go ahead and grab us some flower petals. I think our wheat will be ready tomorrow and we'll get that machine. Don't mind me. Oh, can't get that one yet. Gotta upgrade our sickle, I think, twice to get the bushes. Oh, uh, yeah, that should be enough. Okay. And let's, I think, head to the house. We need to get more copper. Uh, we could do fishing at the house. Also, I wouldn't mind finding more treasures. I think I found a bunch outside in the streaming world. There one at the top of this. If I remember right. Or was that a quest thing? Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Dream ten years later. Let's go B. Read. Ten years from now, I'll be the finest general store owner in the town, and there will be so many customers every day. Mom and Dad will surely be happy. Lori. Lindy says, in 10 years, I better have saved Miss Mermaid. Maybe I will share a happy life with Miss Mermaid. Freya says, in 10 years, in 10 years, I hope to still be with Lindy. Aw. And Wallace says, if everyone wishes can come true in 10 years, I might be helping Lori run the general store. Oh, that's cute. New construction blueprint unlocked a pinwheel. Let's go ahead and read to Sakoda. I wanted you to, I wanted to hold you in the palms of my hands, but I am worried about disturbing the lake. Oh, wait, hold on. Beautiful Sakona, you are just like the reflection of the moon in the lake, which is beyond reach. I want to hold you in the palms of my hands, but I am worried about disturbing the lake water and shattering this faint moonlight. How I wish all the tragedies never happened as if you never left my side. My dear Sakona, I know you are now in a secluded place where you have to live a new life. Don't worry, I don't want to disturb you. I know that my leaving is the best protection for you. This ruby is my gift. I hope you remember me when you see it. Your faithful friend, Adelson. I actually got a ruby right there when I opened that treasure chest that had that in it. Okay, neat. I've got one grilled fish, so I'm gonna pop that up there. Huh. A couple of treasures today. Let's go home, do some fishing, and also see what that new outfit we found looks like. I am curious. Um, have we been in the blacksmith's house or shop? I think we were, weren't we? There's like ores and stuff around. Yeah. We was. I'm going the wrong way entirely, am I not? Oh, there's a express right up here. I'll just jump on the PE express and go to farm station. I'll probably fish for a couple hours tonight, but let's run inside so I can show you what that new outfit looks like. Oh, we gotta feed you too. Uh, feed. There you go. Oh, we got mail. Uh, email. Missing mining commission completed. Please review. Map of the cat spirit mine is all we got from that. Okay. Usually I get ores and such. Uh, let's go right here. And I think it's going to be clothing. Yeah, we got this. Uh, so. Oh, look at how awesome we look. Yeah, we're going to rock that. I like that you have left foot and right foot. I don't know if we can actually put two different boots on if we have two different shoes. But I think that's all we have found. Yeah. But hey, we look we look awesome. We look like a, a knight in shining armor, literally. But I'm going to fish for a couple hours. Oh, it's getting late. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to fish a little bit because we need money. Ooh. Stamina. We need that too. So, Song of the Prairie. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. What did we get? Something we already had. Small yellowtail catfish. And a small blackfish. Later, y'all. So.